Hey, what's good family? In this video, I am going to show you how to enter and exit day trades for beginners. Throughout my journey as a trader, I have traded numerous different strategies. This by far has yielded the greatest results. And in hopes of cutting down the time that it takes you to find profitability, I'm going to share with you my strategy, how I get ready for the day to trade and how I would expect for it to play out. So without further ado, let's hop in the charts. All right, so here we are on tradingview.com. If you don't have an account, be sure to sign up using the link down below in the description. Uh, it doesn't really do anything if you don't intend to buy a plan in the future, but in the future, if you're really making money, it's going to be beneficial for you to get a plan. Otherwise, it, it doesn't hurt you, it doesn't help you. It just gives you $15 off towards your first plan. If you just want to go to the website and start using it, you can do that too, but uh, getting into it, here we are looking at the SPY and, and the way that I chart things, I'm going to start on the four hour and drop down to get into what I'm going to trade for the day. And the reason for that is higher time frames carry more weight than lower time frames. All right, so right here looking at the four hour. So I'm going to start off on the four hour just draw my range. I can see that we are currently bullish right now. This is the range for the four hour. And that way I know as long as I'm between these levels and I'm trading on the four hour, I am looking for it to go up and I'm going to trade with the trend. Now that I know what the trend is on the four hour, I'm going to drop down to the one hour and I'm going to start looking for supply and demand zones. All right. So right away I can see that we have a supply zone right here. And all I'm doing is I am making it around this entire black candle right here. So as you can see here, let me drag that down a little bit. All right, so this is my supply zone. So now uh, one thing that I'm personally going to do is I'm going to set an alert just because it was a first low. You'll notice that stocks go up, have pullbacks, all that stuff. Uh, I think ultimately it'll come back and at least touch this a little bit. So I'm going to set an alert uh, right here at the first low. So I am aware of the possibility that it's about to come in here. That way I'm ready to react. And if I trade this, uh, my target is going to be uh, what I would expect to happen is it's coming up here right now, but I expect something like this. All right, so I'm expecting it to come down and come take out this high if it's going to continue the trend. All right, but going back, we have our demand zone on the one hour. Uh, currently right now, it looks like right now, uh, the same way I drew this bullish range on the four hour, we are currently in a bearish range. That bearish range is actually from this high right here down to this low. So while we are in this range, I'm actually looking for downside. So right now in this range on the one hour, I'm not going to trade anything because we're bullish on the four hour and bearish on the one hour. So what I'm going to wait for is wait for us to come down in here and either we're going to break through this and I'm going to look at downside and look for the next level or come up here. And because we are bearish on the one hour, I can actually come up here and draw a supply zone. And this would be the area that I expected to come up to and sell off. And I expect if it goes up here to start the day off. So I said I expected it to come down and then go up. It's currently going up. I expect that if it comes up here, it's going to bounce back, come down and then come up there and take out that level because we are still bullish on the four hour. All right. So that's what I'm thinking on the four hour. And then if we drop down to the 15 minute, uh, you can see we kind of got a stair step down, going down, and we're starting currently running up. And really, yeah, on the 15 minute, I'm sticking to the story of the one hour. And now all I'm doing is I am waiting for these zones. I personally prefer to trade upside, especially since we're overall in an uptrend. But if I'm feeling uh, real active and risky today, I'll set an alert up here. And with this alert, this just alerts me, hey, we're in the supply zone. And if we don't break above this, I'll probably grab a put, ride it down here, 
before grabbing a call and writing it back up. So and now that I've looked at the larger time frames, uh, let's talk about when to enter and exit because that is what this video is all about. That was really just a setup and going over uh, how to create the zones. Let's talk about what it's going to look like whenever we actually enter and exit. All right, so here it is. This is the five minute chart. This is where you're going to want to do your entries and exits. Let's look and see what it may look like whenever uh, we come in here and, and it's time to buy or sell. So me personally, if I'm buying, I'm buying here and I am not going to be greedy. I, I don't need to ride it all the way into that. I'm just going to sell when we get there and I'm going to have my stop loss be here. I'll probably have my stop loss be the back of this zone. It might be more like this. If depending on how how deep we come in here, it could uh, buy right here, could buy midway, but this will kind of adjust as it goes. But yeah, if we come in here, whenever I see a sign that hey, it looks like it's about to go up, I'm going to buy. My stop loss is going to be down here, uh, where this is where the break of the four hour. If we break this, we are now bearish on the four hour. So that's where I'm choosing to put my stop, but. You can have your stop here at the end of the zone, whatever, but whatever happens with your stop, you're going to want to follow it because it's better to lose a little bit on a trade than to let the trade go completely against you when you could have used that money later. So what are the candles you're going to be looking for look like? So down here, if you see a candle with a long wick like this in this zone, it's probably a good sign to get in and buy a call. Um, if you're coming from the upside and oh, you see a candle with a wick like this from the upside coming up here, that is going to be a good time to grab a put from up here. If you see this, if you see a big long wick on the upside and you're down here, you definitely don't want to buy anything. I'm hoping this is making sense. If it's not, uh, watch it through a few times. It'll definitely make sense after you do that. But yeah. So you want to buy once you get confirmation. So, so if you like to jump on things early, uh, just wait till you you're in here and see something like that. It could even just barely touch the zone and do that. That's still good to buy in for the upside. It just look, may look a little more like this because maybe you see the reaction right here and then you get in right here and then you ride it up to here. So yeah, you, you buy when you see that confirmation and what confirmation looks like is a full candle outside of it. So that's if you're being safe. If you're being risky, you're getting it when it looks like this. And then you sell out when you get to the next zone or to the next high. So for me, honestly, my I see there's a supply zone here. I'll see how it reacts to the supply zone. Sometimes it, it can rip right through. If it doesn't sell off really strong, I'll try to ride it through. And my target will be up here. So there you have it, how to enter and exit day trades for beginners. I just taught you a strategy that it took me years to find. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. And if you made it this far and for some reason you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And you probably heard me talking about supply and demand zones. If you want to know how to draw perfect supply and demand zones so this strategy works for you, be sure to watch this video right here. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.